Okay, now watch what happens when I turn the water on. See it spinning around in there? It's creating a vortex right in the center, which is perfect for allowing the heaviest material to sink down right away. Hey guys, Sid Wood with Riverdance Gold Mining here. I wanna show you something new and uh, really cool. So this is a duplex jig hutch. This is the center module, the, the, the guts, where everything happens. These two hutches hold the water. The water is continuously filling them up through this water intake manifold. It goes in to both of them, a little below mid the midsection here. And then if, if you can see in here, it's introduced into each hutch kind of in a, a, a force across the middle there. And w the new change that we've made is we've capped these off and put a hole in the side to force the water to spin around inside the hutch. And so that's creating a vortex in the center of each hutch, allowing the heaviest materials to fall right through and you get maximum gold recovery and much easier clean out. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this on the new Minimax with uh, one of these hutches with the Vortex insert and we'll see what happens. Okay, when I turn this on, watch what the water does, the action of the water. It's gonna swirl around inside there and not just swirl, but spin continuously. I'll let it fill up and then I'll, I'll turn it off and put the screen back on. Okay, now watch what happens when I turn the water on. See it spinning around in there? It's creating a vortex right in the center, which is perfect for allowing the heaviest material to sink down right away. Continuing to spin as it empties out. And if you take the cap off at the bottom of the discharge tube, that spinning will become uh, enhanced even because it's gonna drop faster. Okay, now I'm gonna put the screen back on and we will do this live and figure out what happens when we start adding material. I'm really interested to see if it uh, does clean out the hutch better as we go or not. And of course, if there's any noticeable difference in how it traps gold. It's, it's definitely speeding fast. I don't know if it's a vortex action, but I suspect it is. Keeping everything separated and moving very well. Can you just see what I'm looking like in the concentrates bucket, and then especially after I let it run for a minute and check the hutch after I take the screen off. Oh, this is a little bit of panning tailings from Crow Creek. There could easily be some gold in here. And this has some, <laughs> this has some jet dry in it. Uh, there's a lot of jet dry when I'm panning, especially fine, fine gold. Arms. I'm going to scoop a little bit of this out. This is some more panning tailings. Okay, so this, this is all tailings from panning. 
I'm gonna try to slowly feed this in here. Just gently. Just a little bit more. This is a 30 mesh screen. So I don't know that there are any pieces of gold that big in here. You see a lot of uh, little sulfides and stuff. Just gonna let this run for a second and kind of clean itself out. In the, the tray, any or the hutch, anything that's down in the hutch should get washed out in this process. But we will find out how effective that vortex is in just a minute. First, we have to make sure that all the heavy material is retained, and all the light stuff is either rejected or stays in the tray because nothing else is there to push it out. But everything that gets that's small enough to go through the screen and is heavy can work its way down there and get in, get through. You can check that by putting my hand under the underflow tube and seeing if there's any sand coming out. Very, very little. A couple little pieces here and there. Look at that run for another short while. A lot of little sparklies in there, but it's not gold, it's the uh, mica and mica up on the top here it could be pyrite as well pyrite has a heavier specific gravity than the common gravel so it should sink down to just on top of the jig shot there may be some garnets in there i don't know at all we'll see pretty much done spitting stuff out very very few little bit of stuff's coming out not much i'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and turn off the pump get a spray nozzle on this hose. So I'm gonna take this cap off down here to let that water really flow out and spin that hutch water. Yeah, that should really get it going. Pretty much empty now. Actually, I'm gonna leave this hooked up first and I'm gonna turn the nozzle on the, the valve on the pump down. I'm gonna close it a little bit, about halfway. And we'll see if there's any in there, if we can just use the pump to clean it out. We could not do that effectively anyway before. I suspect it's gonna be mostly cleaned out already. I'm gonna dump it in the same tub I just cleaned out. Oh yeah, the hutch is almost spotless. Huh, but let's see what happens. I'm gonna get a little bit of water and try to get the sand from the, around the gasket. There's always a little bit of sand that builds up right on the inside and then slips through into the gas in, or uh, it falls into the groove when you pull the tray up, but not, not nearly as much as we usually get. This is actually really clean compared to what I usually see. I'm very impressed and I definitely attribute it to that vortex action. There's the valve, there it is. Yeah. Look at that. I'm going a little bit more to get the rest of that sand that I guess need to. How's that for cleaning out? There we go. She's all cleaned out. Didn't even have to use a spray nozzle. I like that. Holy crap, that's great. That's good just on its own. 